now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put our stripes on our bottom tier. Now we want to do alternating blue and silver and white stripes. And so what I'm going to do is do a larger, heavier uh, blue stripe with a thin silver, almost pinstripe in the center, um, separated by some white space. Uh, so how, so we're going to get started on that. And uh, I have reset my ribbon cutter. Um, this uh, larger one, which is going to be our blue stripe, is set at a half an inch. And this one actually right here does not have a spacer. It's the two cutters right next to each other. And that's going to give you the, the thinnest possible stripe that you can get with your ribbon cutter. And that's going to come out to about a little less than a quarter of an inch. Um, so just like we did with our, with our circles, we're going to start by just rolling out some of our fondant. Um, now you want to make sure when you're rolling this out that it's long enough to go up the side and over the top because you want a nice clean edge. So once you have that, here we go. And once again, you want this pretty thin, not so thin that it's going to stretch out of shape, but thin enough that it's not um, sticking awkwardly off the, the side of your cake. Um, now these are going to be our silver stripes. So we're just going to, um, we're actually going to just use our, oops, we're going to use our cutter as a marker. Um, you can kind of see what I'm doing so that we can use our rotary cutter to get a much crisper uh, finish line. Okay, and that should be plenty. So we're going to cut a nice straight line across the bottom and then using those as our guidelines, we'll cut our little silver pinstripes out. We should probably have enough now, but we'll cut a couple more just to make sure we have plenty for the side we're working on. Here we go. And we're going to use that same exact process, just with the uh, larger size stripe for our blue. So this is getting a little dry. I'm going to add a little vegetable shortening to it. And you want to try to work as quickly as you can because you don't want your stripes to dry out too much because you remember you have to kind of wrap it over that top and if it gets too dry it'll crack on you. So same thing, make sure that it's, you have a piece that's long enough. the same thing we're just going to kind of mark this 